Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll demonstrate the use of multi-axis simultaneous machining on this machine part. Now, if we take a look at this part, you'll note that these walls on the inside of this part, as well as the outside walls, are at an angle. So, to machine them in the best possible way, we've used the option of five axis simultaneous machining. Now, the rest of the operations that we see that we've used in this part were used to machine out the rest of the areas. So we're going to concentrate specifically on the operations that were using multi-axis simultaneous machining. After we've cleaned out the, the entire part with the face mill on top, profile machining, HSR for roughing out the part itself, the profile operation to machine around that area, as well as these pockets to clean out inside the floors, inside the pockets itself. We've gone over to the multi-axis simultaneous machining to work on the walls. If we were to open up the first operation, you'll note that we'll be using the option of morph between two boundary curves. If I go into my geometry, the surfaces that will be used as drive surfaces are the surfaces inside the pocket itself. And if we check our curves, the start edge curve is the top edge over here, as the bottom edge curve is the bottom curve over there. The tool that we'll be using in this particular case will be an eight millimeter end mill. And if we go into our toolpath parameters, we'll be stepping down every three and a half millimeters. If we go into our tool axis control, you'll note that we'll be tilting it relative to the cutting direction and the tilt angle on the side will be 90 degrees so that the side of the tool works on these walls. Going into our gouge check, we had a gouge check on the floor itself to make sure that we do not gouge into the floor as we're going down the part. If we take a quick look at our simulation, you'll note that the tool will go down and work on those walls itself as shown over here, with the tool constantly tilting in the proper direction to stay directly on that wall. And then as it goes further down in the part, it completes that at every three and a half millimeters on the wall itself going all the way down to the bottom. Now if we go into our next operation, our next operation is basically the exact same thing except this time we use morph between two adjacent surfaces. The geometry in this particular case is the outside walls as shown over there and the start edge surface is the radius on top over there, whereas the, the end edge surface is the surface on the bottom floor over here. Again, the tool will be the exact same end mill we used in the previous operation, and in our toolpath parameters, it's the exact same as the previous operation as well. The same thing goes with the tool axis control and the gout check, making sure that the floor is not injured in any way. Taking a look at the simulation, you'll note that again, in this particular case, the tool will go down on the outside wall, working exactly between the top surface and the bottom surface, tilting exactly with the wall itself, using the option of multi-axis simultaneous machining. Now, since the operation was used as a semi-finish by leaving 0.2 millimeters of material on the surface itself. We have another two operations over here doing the exact same thing as in the previous operation, except this time we are going down to our finish floor itself. In other words, going directly to the surface without any offset. The tool will be a eight millimeter end mill, except this time it's a finished tool. And if I go into my toolpath parameters, 
will be going down 4.4 millimeters on the wall itself. Again, working with a 90 degree tilt to work with the side of the tool on this wall. And again, tilted relative to cutting direction. The same was done in the last operation here as well. Taking a quick look at the toolpath of this operation, you can see that it's working exactly on that wall. And the same thing for the final operation inside this wall here as well. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.